This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints. Discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Rob. Today we're going to be taking a look at a game by Grey Gnome Games and Jason Glover, of course. Uh, you've, you've seen me talk about Tin Helm, we've actually did it live. Uh, um, the other one, which is Gate. Uh, two smaller games uh, that come in little bo tin boxes. Uh, the next one we're going to be talking about is one I've been waiting for, and that is Iron Helm, more of the big box game that kind of, I, I almost think, kind of started everything, maybe. Uh, you know, I don't know enough. Um, this is a very interesting game. I will tell you this, I went out and I bought everything. Um, so some of the stuff you do not get when you buy the box, you've got to buy like the iron chest, which is full of stuff. And uh, I bought the two player match, which comes separately, you'll have to buy. You'll see it on the website, go over to Game Crafters and you can check everything out. Or go over to Grey Gnome Games and I'll have a link that will take you over to uh, uh, cra um, Game Crafters and get you all set up. I will tell you this much, it is pricey because I've spent some money here. So let's go down to the table. I'm not going to explain everything, but I'm going to give you a nice overview of what goes on here and we will take it from there and then we'll come back and get my final thoughts. Okay, on I had to squeeze this together. Uh, this usually extends out a little bit more and it, it's just, it looks great uh, on, your, on your camera, of course. Uh, but to get it in camera, I have to. Comes with a great, uh, fantastic book. Explains everything so well. And then it has a couple of cheap books in here that'll help you out um, as far as things are considered. Uh, here you go, your appendix, which really makes it nice and easy to keep up with everything. Um, there is Iron Chest out there, which uh, is uh, another expansion to it. And then these expansion packs, which I haven't even cracked open because I'm just so enthralled with this game. Now setting up your character is going to be pretty easy. Everything is on here. I'm going to have 14 health, which you're going to get your health together. Then energy, which I'll explain to you in a bit. I'm going to keep that right there. Uh, this is weight. How much, as you can see, there's weight on each item. That's how much you can carry without going over. Food, very important. When you run out of food uh, at the end of each level, you're going to have to use one of these. And if you don't have it, you're going to take a certain amount of damage or poison and so forth and so on. And then gold coins that you're going to start with. Um, you are going to be going through this dungeon and starting at level one. And if you saw my, uh, uh, my tin helm, you're going to get a feel for this right away. Um, the way this works, you have your character. You're going to start with uh, certain skills and trappings. I spent some gold so I can get extra rations and an axe because I did not have a weapon to go. Uh, they are going to have certain abilities that are going to help you on your way down. Now what you're going to do is have these same 16 cards. Okay and you're going to shuffle these up and you are going to take two cards. One, two. And you're going to pick one. Okay so I'm going to pick this one. Oh perfect I, because I didn't set this up at all. Now, if I choose to do this card because it's the first time I turned it over, I will do the first ability, which is an ambush, and I'm going to have to fight uh, a dude, and that ain't, that ain't cool all the time. Uh, but if, if this was the second card I picked, like if I, I turned over this card, and I didn't like what it had, like now, now if I said, well, I don't want to do an ambush, uh, I'm going to discard this, I would have to do the second ability here. Now, this one's lucky because I got the treasure card which would give me one loot card and one potion card, which would really help me out, okay? But we're gonna pretend that uh, I just went with the ambush, okay? So what's gonna happen is you're going to draw a, a uh, creature that is going to fight you. He has one health, um, as you can see. Uh, he does no additional damage. Uh, this is his defense, and this is a symbol that is going to help you uh, get when you get down to the lower boss. So health, uh, how much additional damage he would do, uh, his defense, and then, um, I hope I got that right and not mixed up, but um, this is a symbol of, of you're going to collect a whole bunch of these cards. So as you kill these, you're going to pile these up. And this is going to tell you what boss you're going to have at the end because you're going to add up all these symbols 
like you you may have uh, three of the gold ones and two reds or something like that and I'm just using that as an example and uh, you would have to face the boss that has the gold marker because you have the most of that uh, this is how much gold you'll get any kind of special ability that they have uh, will happen so for instance uh, he automatically when they turn over they are going to attack you first you're going to roll two dice and wow perfect fantastic uh, a two and a one so in between that is only one if he did any additional damage you would add that uh, when the sulking uh, successfully hits gain one poison token so you can gain poison tokens and as these add up if they ever have more poison tokens than you have health well, guess what? You're going to die. And there are plenty of ways to die here. Uh, he, I have no real armor. Oh, yes, I do. Subtract one from the initial damage. If you suffer a single, a single hit of four or more uh, damage, oh, okay, your buckler breaks. So if I got more than four, this, I would lose this. But because I have this, I absorb it, so I'm not going to take any damage, and that's fine. Now, I'm, I'm going to decide by using energy because I start with 11 on how many dice I'm going to roll his health is only one so boy that's real easy I only want to roll one of these okay but I gotta remember that might be kinda risky because you're going to add your level so if I was here it would be level plus whatever here and then uh, his health so it would be three do I want to take a chance and, and have a 50% chance or do I want to pay two and remember these are hard to come by so you gotta be smart on how you use these well of course I'm going to roll two and I get an eight eight is going to obliterate that that becomes a trophy of mine and I am good to go okay so you're gonna start piling these up so now as I keep on going these cards would get discarded and then you would keep on going until the end and then you would move down to the next level this here is a morale checker there are certain things that are going to that are going to question you or plots that you're going to run into because you're going to run into cards that are going to give you a plot and it's going to either up your morality check uh, uh, tracker or you can go negative on the morality checker either way there are bonuses and pluses to that no matter what you do and the idea is to try to get all the way down to the fifth level here. Well, good luck with that because it's not easy because you are f constantly going through these cards and you are constantly taking damage. You're having to forage for food. Make sure that you're trying to get and upgrade your enemy, uh, your, your um, weapons so you can use less energy and then also try to find energy on top of that while you're getting pummeled by these animal, uh, by these creatures because these creatures always have a first strike capability for the most part except for one card here that can change that uh, you're going to get different loot uh, on your way through a uh, long sword which would be perfect and you gotta you gotta be careful because you gotta watch your weight here okay and that is going to help you you're going to get potions that are going to give you healing and give you uh, energy and things like that are going to help you out uh, you're going to be able to carry that many accessories you're going to be gain skills and as you gain skills they are going to help you down through as you pass through the dungeon you're going to gain coin where you're going to be able to buy certain things uh, and, and, and spend things well and then at the very end when you finally go through and then you get 10 of these points where you're going to keep on trying to go down because as you collect these plot cards they are going to have a little symbol here and once you get 10 and as you see, this one has two, and there's some that have three. So right here, I have three, five, six, okay? And you're gonna run into these, and you're gonna keep on going down. But as you go down, it gets worse, so you really wanna get these plot cards as fast as you can, because anytime you start adding plus five to a, a creature, you are going to take a beaten. And some of these creatures are not that easy. I mean, look at this dude, the Wrath. It's three, and can you imagine plus five, okay? Um, which isn't cool uh, um, I think you add it either to the damage or you add it to uh, no you add it to their health which makes them even nastier and the, they just get tougher and tougher and tougher well the health that that's the armor which we were talking about so they're going to do more they're going to get stronger and tougher to kill so seven plus five wouldn't be cool because then you're you're having to use more energy tokens to defeat them 
um, but you really want to go get these these plot these plot and get ten of these and then you're going to go face the boss and then once you face the boss and defeat him you have won the game yeah good luck with that because I've gotten I've gotten my head kicked in every single time and it is really really beautiful everything is spelled out for you here um, and, and done very well uh, it, it really does does a fantastic job um, uh, and and like I said I, I wanted to double check because I, I knew I tripped over my words you always add the level to their health which makes them tougher to kill okay they are always going to be doing a certain amount of damage and remember uh, because I told you earlier that you would add the level to the attack that's not true what you do is you add the level to the health so I apologize for that and I'm glad I straightened it out and and believe me I won't edit it out well maybe I will but um, uh, this here you add two plus whatever uh, damage that you would do there you can end up taking a lot of damage especially with the wolf so if you roll something like this okay anytime you roll a double you are going to miss perfect example so it doesn't matter what they have but if I rolled a little bit better like a six and a three it's gonna be three plus two plus whatever they have here you may avoid this conflict by spending one ration. Well, you don't want to do that. So uh, they will be doing five, uh, five to you. Uh, do you have the, the robes and all that other stuff to help you uh, avoid or, or, or armor that is going to help you uh, absorb that? Or you, can you take it? Can you, can you fight you know, as these things get stronger? Uh, it really does get a lot tougher. The most you can ever attack with is three energy, which would give you three dice. There are some enemies that you're really going to want to beat on. Uh, remember, you add when you attack, but when they attack, it's what's in between this. So this would be a, a one plus whatever uh, attack value that they have. Okay, I'm glad I cleared all that up. So uh, again, another fantastic game. Plenty of, 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 of different types of variability. Um, this is just, it, it really is thematic, gorgeous. The art is fantastic. I didn't know that Jason drew some of this along with uh, another gentleman. Oh, God, if I can find his name. Daniel Wal, uh, Wal, Walhall. Uh, Walhall. Uh, fantastic job. I really like the old school feel of the art. It really sucks you in and does a fantastic job. So let's go, now that I cleared all that up and made a mess of this, let's go up top and get my final thoughts. Now it's a funny thing, there are very few people that get it in life and uh, Jason does get it. Um, very, very smart, uh, intuitive design. Uh, I really like what he does. Uh, this is a lot of fun and I do mean a lot of fun. Um, I love the extra packs that you could purchase uh, as you level up. We have more loot and lore I haven't even opened up. And uh, the thing that really makes me happy is I have plenty of these adventures to go on. Because these, these packs, what they're going to do is you're going to take certain cards out of the base game and add in these cards and you've got a whole another adventure and another boss to fight. Glorious. Glorious, I tell you. So um, this is a great, fantastic game. Uh, one that is definitely a keeper uh, in my thing. I, I really enjoy this. I would like to see even more of this if possible. Uh, another extension of Iron Helm, of course. Uh, some more things. Uh, you know, we got the Iron Chest with another villain and all kinds of other stuff in it. So I have a lot to play through and um, I, I'm just afraid I'll run out. And I, I don't think you ever could. I think uh, this has so much replay playability. Uh, you know, you can go out and get one of those big box games, go through it, and then be done with it. This is one of those games that you could just keep playing and playing, and it changes every time. It is fun. It is fast. It even had my little granddaughter, who's three years old, interested in it and wanting to roll dice for her papa. So, um, I mean, a tip of the hat to you, Jason. You did it again, kid. And um, support this guy. This is one of those up-and-coming... Uh, uh, designers that really has a tremendous amount of talent and needs to be uh, uh, acknowledged and go support him so he can make even more things. I gotta get a copy of Desla. I, I, you know, I, I, Desla's the one I want to try next. 
because I believe this came, that came before this. But go out and run out and get this. Uh, you will not be disappointed. Until next time, it's old pal Rob saying, we shall see you soon. Uh, another great game, Jason. Well done. Take it easy, everybody.